Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough, and today is a good one that might scare you because I'm going to be talking about competition. Yeah, did your competition scare you? In this one, you're going to learn how to embrace and actually fall in love with your competition, so stay tuned. So today we're going to talk about competition. And the word competition, when I first started speaking, scared me because it was putting me really in comparison with others, right? In my retail business, it was much easier to understand the competition because we were talking about a store, an industry, but now it got personal. Uh, I know this for a fact because I, in the beginning, went to a great branding coach. Her name is Julie Harrelson here in Houston. And the first assignment that Julie gave me was to go back and to list my competition. She asked me, do you know your competition? And actually, I didn't. And she said, go home and do the research and come back with 20 people who speak on the same thing that you do. So I did. It was really interesting because I hadn't really looked at the competition. I was so focused on myself that when I began to look at those 20, I realized that a lot of them had great skills and talents. I needed to up my game. When I brought the list back to Julie, the first thing she said to me was, let's talk about your qualities first. And we listed them. I'm relevant. I was fun. I think we came up with four or five. And then she went through every person on my list. And she said, are they relevant? Yeah, they were. Are they funny? Yeah, most of them were. It was interesting because all of the characteristics that I had, so did they. And she said something that stuck with me. She said, you're going to have to find your differentiator. She said, you're going to have to look for the things that make you unique and different from your competition. That was the beginning for me. That was the beginning of me tapping into who I am and bringing more of me into each presentation. So today I want to talk about that. I want to talk about when you study and learn about your competition, it's a great lesson. Embrace it. Embrace your competition. Actually, become friends with your competition because when you do, you're going to gain so much. Your competition is, number one, it's going to keep you sharp. Number two, it's going to help you avoid complacency, especially when you're rolling along and you're doing so great. An eye on your competition and watching them actually lift the bar and raise the bar will help you avoid complacency. Number three, it's going to help you continually work on that differentiator and it's going to grow your brand. Number four, it's going to grow your self-awareness. You're going to see the things that you are not that great in. Some of the things that you're going to have to improve on. It's going to really raise the bar for you personally. But the last thing I think is the best. It's going to help you grow partnerships. You see, it's lonely out there at times. And when we can embrace our competition, when we can recommend them for something that maybe we can't do or a job that maybe we know they would do be better at, it grows that relationship, it grows that partnership, and you know what? It grows your brand. So today, it's easy. I want you to go out there and I want you to give your competitors a big hug. Hey guys, this is Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.